Hello guys, this is uh, Dr. Palani Padmanikam. This is a very, very special video for me because I'm going to be open. I'm going to confess to all of you guys. I'm going to talk about Gutman's 100 day challenge. Let's dive deep into it. As you all know, I was very obese. I was close to 100 kilos. When I go for a get together, I don't need a table to put my plate down. I will use my own belly. So then I adopted this time restricted feeding method, which worked for me. So I decreased 30 kilos from 100. I went down to 70 and I have been hovering around 70 because of mindful eating for the last three years. So since this worked for me, I've been spreading this message of time restricted feeding to all over the world as one of the methods of weight loss. If this works for you, I'm really blessed to have so many millions of followers literally taking my word as a rule and they follow it very strictly i came to know about this when i was recently in india one of my medcom shows in my speeches a 35 year old female traveled three hours to just come and see me waited for a couple of hours and was literally emotional crying and then telling me that she lost weight because of me all the people that were following me or just not followers they are emotionally connected to me i feel more responsible now since i talk about gut people call me gut man and one of my subscribers actually gave this t-shirt to me which says gut man squad to be really proud of this word gut man i really have to put in my effort to show you that my gut is good yes my dieting habits have changed significantly but i am still not healthy though i look skinny i'm still fat i belong to the category called skinny fat which many people watching this can relate to me that you might also belong to this category because when you look in the front you look very thin but when you look Look at the side you have this belly protrusion and that is exactly happening to me as well i can hide everything with my coat a shirt and a tie and i can look very presentable right in front of the camera but the truth is i do not have that much amount of muscle mass so when you look up front i don't look obese but when i stand up and when i turn to the side i do have belly fat of course it was even bigger before with mindful eating i was able to bring it down but but to go to the next level we need to make sure that our gut is clean our gut is powerful the brain gut axis is stronger so that you can build muscles you have enough protein in your body you can continue the good work by building on muscle blocks on top of it by building a good gut the mistake i did was i did not lift weights during the weight loss journey so in addition to the overall mass i lost my muscle mass as well whatever was left behind as many of you have rightly noticed that i do not have muscle mass based on the comments that i have received so far i did a dexa scan which is a body fat percentage measurement so skinny fat means you might look normal your weight might look normal but that might be some internal fat distribution surrounding your organs like your heart liver pancreas intestine this is called visceral fat and the fat that looks outside is called subcutaneous fat visceral fat is more dangerous increases your risk of heart attack stroke hypertension diabetes and obesity and I have a strong feeling that young heart attacks in our Indian community is high because of the skinny fat problem where there could be an increased visceral fat inside the body so DEXA scan is one of the expensive way to measure body fat percentage I got a free coupon and that's why I went and got a DEXA scan my body fat percentage was 29% ideally it should be only around 20% and for athletes and more muscular people the body fat percentage will be less than 10 and my muscle mass number was also much lower and this was a wake-up call for me that it is high time that I do the steps necessary to build a good gut build a good muscle and make sure that I lay a strong foundation for my health especially for my kids why muscle is important muscle will eat up the extra calories for you so you don't have to play this calorie game for the rest of your life muscle will give you the extra protection around your joints so you don't get osteoporosis you don't get fractures your quality of life will be much better as age advances and this is particularly very important for women more importantly once you build that muscle mass you will never get fat again unfortunately our society when I was growing up was not focusing on building our muscle they focused on building our career which is also important and that's why I'm talking to you like this now but at the same time I would have wished that somebody have told me to build muscle at the age of 20 and not at the age of 40 because muscle building is difficult as age advances but not impossible so with my knowledge on gut research I know that 
if I have a clean gut and if I give protein to my muscles and if I give the adequate amount of workout to my muscles, I can build a good muscle mass. I can do something called body fat redistribution and that is why I'm committing to all my millions of subscribers that I am going to do this 100 day gut man challenge. Why am I doing this? I know that when I exercise, when I increase my protein intake, when I take care of my gut, that will release short chain fatty acids in my gut which will stimulate the brain gut access to be much stronger, will help me make decisions wiser and build muscle accordingly as well. So I am going to start this challenge from next Monday and I want you to join me as well. Name of the challenge is Gutman's 100 day challenge. My goal is to decrease my body fat percentage from 29 to 20. I know that my body fat percentage is 29. I knew it because of DEXA scan but you don't have to necessarily do DEXA scan. If you have an option you can do it because it is very accurate. If not you could also go by something called waist to hip ratio. You take an inch tape and on an empty stomach you measure around your belly button that is your waist circumference. With the same inch tape you measure the widest part of the hip that is your hip circumference. You divide the waist circumference by hip circumference and it should be less than 0.95 in males and less than 0.80 in females. If you are above this criteria I am sure that you have some kind of visceral fat beneath it. So this gut challenge will be apt for you. So there are five things in the Gutman challenge that we need to do on a daily basis for the next 100 days. Number one, workout. Engage in a 60 minute of workout, any kind of workout, preferably strength training daily, including in your rest days should be active recovery. And daily progressive overload of your muscles will redistribute the fat from your belly to your upper body, lower body based on wherever you are deficient in. And remember, spot reduction is technically not possible just doing abdominal crunches just for this area is not going to work. Second point, protein. Minimum of 1 gram per kilogram per day. For example, if you weigh 70 kilos, you should get at least 70 grams of protein per day. Doesn't matter whether it is vegetarian or non-vegetarian. Preferably a vegetarian source because as you know, vegetarian diet has fiber. Fiber increases the formation of good gut bacteria, which I absolutely love. But as long as you meet the minimum criteria with any kind of protein, I'm okay with that. And number three, to get a clean gut, you need fiber. For fiber, you need at at least minimum of five plant points every day. Let me explain to you what is a plant point is. Any vegetable, fruits, legumes, nuts and seeds will be considered as one plant point. So in your breakfast, snacks, lunch, dinner, during your whole meal for the day, you should have a minimum of five plant points as discussed. The reason behind this is the more the plant points, the more fiber that you get. More fiber is good for your gut. Minimum of 25 grams of fiber per day. You should start slowly because some persons might be very sensitive to fiber intake so you should start slowly and then increase it. In my practice most of the patients can tolerate minimum of five plant points and that is why I have included five plant points as a criteria in this Gutman challenge. And number four is meditation. I want you to do minimum of 10 minutes of meditation to strengthen the brain gut access. It could be any kind of meditation. There is no strict rule about it. What I do is I do something called heartfulness meditation. It is not religious. It is spiritual. You could choose any kind of meditation that you like, but it should be a minimum of 10 minutes every day. So meditation will strengthen the small, small neurons around your intestine, which will in turn be a very strong foundation for your brain gut access on a long term basis. Number five, very important, no ultra processed foods, no chips, biscuits, cereals, sausages, cake, pizza, french fries, no fast food restaurants. Remember I said ultra processed foods are not processed foods because this process can be difficult difficult so we can at least avoid ultra processed foods and then try to avoid processed foods as well but in the criteria definitely no ultra processed foods. Here is a summary of Gutman's 100 day challenge. Number one, 60 minute workout daily including recovery days. It should be active recovery. Number two, protein minimum one gram per kilogram per body weight. It can be any kind of diet. Number three, fiber minimum of five plant points, any vegetable, legumes, fruits, nuts or seeds. Number four, meditation minimum of 10 minutes. Number five, no ultra processed food at all. And this is a challenge for 100 days. I'm going to do this daily for the next 100 days. And more importantly, I'm going to document 
it and show it to you guys as well by uploading daily reels and shots in my social media and I really want you to understand the reason behind this number one I want to be the real gut man showing you what to be done and number two I completely understand that this task is not easy everybody is very busy including me I'm a full-time gastroenterologist I have a family with two little kids in America as you know there is no help here we have to do everything me and my wife right from the start of the day until the end of the day taking care of the kids I do my favorite medcom shows I need to coordinate that I run my non-profit organization which gives me immense pleasure so I have a lot of verticals going on the most common reason I hear from people that not doing workout or not taking care of the health is they are telling me that they don't have time I can confidently tell you that I am as busy as you are if I can do this you can definitely do this as well I can show my progress even if I fail it is okay but if I succeed I can inspire all these millions of subscribers to do something in their life and make sure that you take the next step better to better your health on your long-term basis and unfortunately it is going to take time the hundred days will be a solid foundation but it might take even longer and that's why I'm not looking for a six-pack all I'm looking for at the end of hundred day is that this t-shirt should fit properly one of my subscribers have trusted me believed in me loved my channel printed this t-shirt and gave it to me I should be loyal to him and also to all of you so I am going to do this for the next hundred days if you think that this challenge is reasonable you can join the challenge as well take a picture of yourself and tag us with hashtag gutman 100 day challenge my friends Arun Kumar saying why da why at the age of 40 why are you doing all this huh? why are you trying to behave like age 20 the point is even though I am 40 I want to feel like 20 if I can make sure that I feel like 20 I'm sure that I can make you feel like 20 as well let's do this together let's not wait let's get started I'm sure with all your support and blessings with all good positive vibes I will be able to do the challenge and I will show you the progress I will show you how hard it is I'll show you the ups and downs my planning my workout my food as much as possible and the whole goal is let's build a healthier community together let's join the gutman squad remember one belly at a time it is absolutely important it's going to start from me